Welcome to Stony Creek Tech Talk. Today I'm going to talk about layering systems. The massive question we always get asked is what do you take? One of the big challenges is however many days you're going away, it's always weight and volume. So what you can jam in your pack and how heavy is it? So early days your pack's always around 30 kilos and then it takes a few bad experiences to get them down. Now we're sort of getting them down between 18, 19 and 20 depending on your optics. 10 days into Fiordland, pretty tough country. The weather's changing all the time. You want to make sure that you've got it right. So working from the inside out, I always take a base dry. So that's designed to absorb the moisture off your skin and it spreads it out so you're not so clammy. Um, just take one of them, it's polygene treated, so guaranteed for life not to smell. That's all not to impregnate the smell into the fabric. Always take a pair of thermals, thermal dry, long and top. So just one. One top, one bottom, um, and that's always good just to throw on, just to obviously retain that heat, but you can take that on and off just to regulate yourself. It's really, really important. Often really good to sleep in as well. Fast hunt, so supplex nylon top. Um, fast hunt top, fast hunt trousers. They're really good because they've got a ripstop nylon in them. And what's so good about that is, is that you can afford just to take one. So fast drying, big dump pockets in them, and you take one of each and you're fine. Then just when you start getting into your mid layer and your insulation layer, this is the Primaloft Alpine Vest. That's a great insulation layer to go over a Micro Plus long sleeve top. So tend to use that with the vest instead of taking a big bulky jacket because of volume. The Primaloft's good because it doesn't absorb moisture and it's hydrofluorically treated so Basically what happens is there's a big challenge over your whole trip is, is that moisture gets absorbed through, you know, when it clags in and things like that in all your gear. So you're just not picking up that extra weight. Top that off with a mighty glaze knot. So a third less seams than any other conventional jacket. Very fast drying, it's long and it's got a really good hood on it. So you can get a massive heavy rain. Fueled on this year we got 300 mils in less than two hours, which is crazy and the old glaze knot is a cracker for it. What's really good about it is it doesn't get heavy after long, you know, days and days of rain. It just stays consistent and that's something that you really, becomes a big deal when you're tired and you're doing a lot of walking. You back it up with a pair of dream balls. This is all they pack down into, so very low volume. They've got a real high zip on them, just comes up past the knee and that gives you the ability to whip them on and off all the time. And what the key thing about that is just being able to read the weather. And if you can read the weather and understand what it's doing and just stay in front of it, then that'll make your trip so much better and you're gonna enjoy it and you're not gonna fatigue and hopefully you're gonna land a decent big bull. Obviously you top that up with gaiters. We do articulately cut gaiters with a canvas inner in them. Good waterproof gloves, so H2O fully lined gloves with a membrane in them. You want a beanie, obviously, and a cap, um, and a neck gaiter. And that's pretty much it if you're going to have a crack going real light. Um, yeah, so the big thing is you don't want to lose it. So stuff them all in good stuff pouches, label them, and then that way you can sort of easily grab and grab out and stay in front of the weather. That's what I do anyway, and it seems to work. So if you want to learn more, check out stonycrack.co.nz for more details.